Absolutely. Number five, the words I say to others about my husband or my wife will influence who he or she becomes, especially if I say those words in front of them. Now, that to me has so many implications. Mm. Like that can go in so many different directions because when I think about how edifying it is, right, to hear your spouse say something about you in front of others, it's like, wow, they, they think that about me. But also it's covering too because a lot of people step out of the marriage and do other things to get attention because they don't ever hear a word from their spouse. Mm -hmm. I hear this all the time. Everybody around me thinks I'm phenomenal. Right. But I don't ever hear from my mm -hmm. spouse. So you see how important it is for your spouse to hear from you how great they are in your eyes. That's so, 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 so true. You know, it's it's really I find it interesting how some people cannot form their lips to compliment their spouse. I know. And and the rationale is just insane. Well, I don't want them thinking that they are all that and I'm trying to keep them humble and therefore or they already know it. Why I got to tell you. Like I told you when, when I said I do, wasn't that enough? Well, we've been married for 20 years, Joker. I would like to hear it again. You know, there's a book, there's a quote that says Mark Twain could survive two months off of a compliment. Well, he must have super duper powers because I need a whole lot more than once every two months, some type of acknowledgement of who I am and how I'm showing up. You have to constantly feed and speak into and grow and develop your, your spouse's, I don't know, feeling about themselves as it relates to the relationship. If if you're void of any type of affirmation about who you are in the context of this marriage, you will start to question yourself. And then you become, so here's, here it is. We talk about the language of attraction versus the language of seduction. Language of attraction is when we first meet, I'm complimenting her, she's complimenting me, we're feeding each other, then it shuts down. The language of seduction is when people outside the marriage do the very same thing we used to do for each other. Now we're seduced by the words and the affirmations of other people. So when you're complimenting and edifying and speaking life into your spouse, you're actually protecting. You're building a wall of protection around this relationship. So there's many benefits to doing this. And so we just need to get back on track. Absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm just thinking about how we, we tend to compliment each other and we, we do it just all the time. It's natural for us. But for those of you that it is not natural, there are ways to learn. Like Hassani, you've actually mapped it out for people, right? For some men who mm -hmm. struggle with it, like, okay, here's an opportunity to say something on this day, buy some flowers in the morning, hug and say this in the evening, hug and say that before you say mm -hmm. good night. Like, some for some people, it's not natural. It feels like oppo internal opposition. That's what's happening. I've heard people say that I want to say it. It's in my mind. And then like, I don't know, like it just won't come out my mouth. It just won't come out my mouth. Like I can't say it. And that could be a spiritual thing. Number one, like the fact that you are bound and blocked from verbalizing what it is that you need and want to say, like anytime you want to do something, but you just can't then you might need to look into the spirit about that. But I know that some people really struggle with the verbal and they need to go deep and figure out what that is. So there's progression, right? So if that's you, if you're struggling, or it may be you just don't know what to say. You're not good with words. You're just not that guy. You're just not that woman. Well, start off, but you know what you can do? Buy a card. Buy a card they that articulates exactly what you're thinking right. and feeling. Another thing, go on Google and search out compliments to give my spouse, how to affirm or praise my spouse. It will give you hundreds of articles yep. and all you need to do, copy and paste it, text it to your spouse. It didn't even come from you, but it was the fact that it was on your heart to do. Mm -hmm. So literally you could build up a, ch a chest of compliments that you give randomly. There's something called the love nudge OK, so if you ever uh, read the book, The Five Love Languages or took the quiz, The Five Love Languages, the love nudge allows you to put your languages or your spouse's languages into this app and it tells you what to do. It gives you <laughs> advice on what to say, you know, what gifts to give, how to spend quality to all those different things. So there's so many devices out there that do the work for you. All you have to do is just show up. 